Hello there and welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser presented by your Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverages. We're coming to you from our new home here in 2014, Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hammond. I want to thank Scott Henderson and their whole staff for being our host here this season. Now I'm joined by the head baseball coach of your Southeastern Lions, Coach Matt Reiser. Coach, thanks for being here. Uh, our first show here together as uh, this is your first season now head coach at Southeastern. First of all, congratulations on the job and we're looking forward to a great baseball season here in 2014. Oh, thank you so much, Alan. Uh, you know, it's great to get back the field and, and get back you know with the season you know we've been waiting since uh, the end of May last year to get back out there and you know also spent the, the summer hard out recruiting last fall out recruiting and putting these guys in place and uh, you know trying to put all the pieces together and, and now we're finally here day one. I think this is one of the, uh, a unique situation because it's not like you were coming from somewhere else you were a part of the program coach Ortiz moves on to be athletic director now you're the head coach a lot was the cupboard was full and then you added some great pieces to this one. I know you're uh, you were on the road this weekend against Louisiana Tech. Before we talk about that, talk about kind of some of your expectations for the season with guys coming back and guys that have been added. Yeah, you know, uh, our biggest strength is going to be our, our pitching staff. We bring back so many back uh, so many guys on the mound with Andre Chatur back healthy now and Tate Sino who started every Saturday last year for us. Uh, you know, Kyle Keller went out and had a great summer for us. Sean Kennel's back who was a Friday guy last year. And then you look at the back of the bullpen with you know uh, Mason Klotz and Dylan Hills, Matt Pateri, Jason Greenleaf. Uh, you just you got a veteran staff, so that's got to be obviously the selling point, and the excitement point. Well, the Lions would open up on the road at Louisiana Tech in Ruston. Let's go out to Ruston, Louisiana, and check out the Friday night highlights. Well, it's Friday night. The season opens on the road at Louisiana Tech, and uh, Matt, I know. Uh, this was really billed as a, a pitcher's duel going into Friday night. Yeah, no question. They had two uh, top you know, draft picks going at it. Uh, obviously, you see there Phil Maton. Kiko getting it started off for us uh, with the leadoff single there. They had a little generous score in there for the home team. They gave him there, but I'll, I'll give him a hit in my books. We stayed aggressive from the get go. Uh, right off the bat, Kiko running, you know, does a great job of getting a good jump there. Still in the bag at second. Also pops up, sees the ball kick away. In the third base, and line's looking good. They were running third, nobody out in the first inning. I know uh, Lion baseball, that's really like the special teams. We don't to run the bases and put pressure on the defense. No question. Well, it just makes the offense job so much easier. You know, there you see a long fly ball, F7. Uh, if, if Kiko doesn't do a good job of getting the third base there, that's all it is, just a long out. Instead, it's a sack fly, and we're up one nothing. I know that was big for your confidence to go on the run and get on top in the first inning. Yeah, it definitely was, because Phil Matan was a good, good arm, man. You see there, he's striking out Sam. And uh, also get us out the end, and, and now we're back to Andre Chatur there, a little chopper to Jake Williams. I tell you, man, he played a stellar shortstop all weekend. You know, coming in from BRCC, uh, we had signed him to be a defensive guy there, and he showed it off all night long there at shortstop. We saw back-to-back -back plays there by the middle infield. Kind of a question mark coming into the season. Both those guys played well. They really did, man. I tell you, those two JUCO guys came in and did a fantastic job of kind of fitting right in uh, from the get-go there Friday night, and then settle in like true veterans. Offense getting back at it. Caught a little balk there with Phil Maton. Had to try to do a balk move again. That's where that that pressure comes on the bases, you know. And then obviously the HBP, they try to go in on set at all. He does a good job of not moving his feet. And then we got runners in scoring position again. Get a little nice play there by Bashan Kimball. Right field there for Live Tech. Did a good job there of staying close to, to the wall, making a play. And Matt, I know it's, it's got to be nice to have this guy back at, at full strength, Andre Chitora. He was lights out on Friday night. Oh, he was as advertised and better. He was 89 to 94 all night. Slider was 83 to 86. Had some serious sink going on. I know Sam's hand was hurting at the end of the game. He had some sink going on. Uh, and just did a great job of locating and keeps in the game so we get the bats going. As you can see there, Fisher doing a good job. 0-2, fastball away, just giving what he's taking. He had a line drive to the back side to get the single there. Andrew Gabo comes up again. We don't move our feet. You know, we did a good job. We had 13 HBPs on the weekend and actually had Coach Semino uh, a little <laughs> deterred on, on Sunday morning uh, when he had the umpires meeting. Good job there by Sam. You know, we got the HBP and we yell out 70%, 70 percent, 70 percent of the time. Something positive happens after HBP. As you see there, we uh, get thrown out there at third being aggressive, but you know, we had the positive thing happen. We got the RBI single back at the middle, go ahead and take the lead, make it two nothing. You give Andre a 2 nothing lead, you got to feel good about your chances. He was dominant again, uh, burying the ball down in the zone against the Tech hitters. Yeah, you definitely had him guessing all night long. Sam does a good job there. They find do get somebody on. They try to run. 
Sam does such a good job of controlling the running game. Our pitching staff does a good job of controlling the running game and made it tough there for him. There's Kevin Carr getting a leadoff single there to first base. Does a good job of two strike approach, jamming himself, getting a single right field. Had a tough call there. It was probably the only bad call he had all night there. I thought he did a pretty good job of his own with the umpire, back doors, and then back doors to first base for double play. But Andre goes right back out. They had a chance to get some momentum going, and Andre made sure to shut it down. See back to back out strikeouts there, and he was just absolutely stellar all night. Nice play there by James and Fisher. And you just see, when the guy works with that kind of tempo on the mound, the defense plays well behind him. We played very, very good defense all weekend. He threw him out again there, and then we got batter's interference. So either way, we had him out two different ways, whichever way you wanted it. Andre again with a strikeout. Really a low scoring, kind of nip and tuck game uh, throughout most of the ball game. No question. Well, that's what we expected on Friday night, you know, with Andre being a you know, projected top three rounder and Matan being a projected top ten rounder. We knew it was going to be tight, and we had to do everything right offensively. We were going to have to do everything right defensively. Uh, and, and keep ourselves in the ball game to make sure we can do some things late. And get a leadoff single there in center field. Good job there by Johnson. Good little play they had. Got something going there for Sunday as well. We go ahead and make the move. Andre gave us everything he had. Solid seven innings. We bring in Dylan Hills. Old Pickles comes in the game. Lion fans will be uh, very familiar with Dylan. Has done a very good job for your team in the, in the bullpen for the last few years. No question. He's named the stop of the year. Uh, watch list last year. Uh, comes out of the bullpen here and as advertised, actually strikes out the side and we get the good chance to go in the ninth inning with Mason Klotz coming in the game to close it out. Now it gets a little interesting here in the, in the ninth inning uh, as <laughs> going to have you sweating on opening night here against Tech. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we, we always talk about handling the moment. Uh, you know, there's a, a routine ground ball we threw away. Uh, obviously the bump play there, we can't find the bag. So now they got bases loaded and nobody out. Uh, tight situation for us, obviously. They're down two to one. Uh, but I told Mason, I said, Mason, just find a way to get us out, son. We'll get the chance to get some runs in the 10th inning for you and we'll win a ball game. Gets a big strike out there with Brashawn Kimball. I'll tell you, that was a huge play there with Brashawn because that's their go-to guy. So kind of the hitter they say, don't let it beat you. Uh, we missed there on the outside corner for the walk, tied up. But again, he just locks back in. Had a chance there, one out. And it makes the second out there. Still bases loaded when we get out of the inning. Jesse Burat gets a two out knock here, and Jacob Seward absolutely flying around the bases. You know, we don't want to make the third out there at third base, but he knew he had third from the get go. Jesse does a good job of advancing the throw. So now we got runners second, third, two outs, and lo and behold, guess who comes up? Hoffman had kind of a rough ninth inning, gets a chance there, stays with the plan, the process, gets a big two out knock there, two RBIs to go ahead and go take the lead, four to two, so we can go in the bottom of the 10th. There's old Mason Klotz. Got his normal 10th inning, his fire, fury. And we close out the ball game with a 4-2 win, 10 innings. No more, no, no better way to get that first win. Big, big win for the Lion in extra innings as your club moves to 1-0, 4-2 over Louisiana Tech. Lions win it 4-2 on Friday night in extra innings, so congratulations to Coach Matt Reiser on his first collegiate victory. Before we get his thoughts on the game, let's go back out to Rustin as we hear from some of Matt's closest friends and family on his first collegiate victory. Congratulations on your first win, Coach Matt. Congratulations, Coach, Ma Coach Reiser, on your first win. Coach, congratulations on the win. Hope it's the first of many. You do it right with class, integrity, and you make it interesting. Great ball game tonight. Matt, I just want to congratulate you on your first collegiate victory as a head coach. Um, I know you've worked extremely hard to get to this point. I've known you since you were six years old, man, uh, right down the street, and I couldn't be happier for you. I know if anybody deserves it, it's you. Um, I look forward to many, many more com to come, uh, and like I said, I just couldn't be prouder for you, buddy. I love you, man. Congrats, bro. Way to make it interesting. First of many, and I uh, love you. Can't wait to see some more. So proud of J Matt, um, junior, all the years watching you grow up, never had a doubt. Started off right with the win. So proud of you, son. Love you. Matt, congratulations, bud. Great job first night. Did a super job. Great win. Had everybody in the edge of their seats all game. That's the way to line up. Congratulations, Wade. There's no place I'd rather be than here tonight with you. Line up. <laughs> Well, Matt, obviously that's that's special. A lot of uh, your closest friends and family were at the game. Before we talk about the game, that had to be special to get your first collegiate victory with all your friends and family there. Oh, no question. To, ha to have my dad there, my brother there, and, and my wife, and all, all the, the friends that came along that made the trip to Ruston. Uh, we had a great crowd we had come. Lion Nation came in full force. Uh, the parents and, and obviously uh, all the support we had around 
uh, the, the line program, uh, just to have everybody there and get that first win, first chance, first right out the gate. Uh, was very, very special. Well, this was a, a pitcher's duel that we thought it would be, and it came down to extra innings. It got a little scary there in the ninth, but you get out of it, a bases loaded, no, nobody out jam, and you're able to pick up a victory. That just shows the character of this club. Well, no question about it. You know, we, we talk about all the time, stay the plan, stay the process. You know, some things, uh, you know, kind of went out of, out of whack there in the ninth inning. We made, made a couple blunder plays, but uh, we settled back down. Klotz did a fantastic job of getting us out of the inning and getting us in the extra innings. and. Uh, lo and behold, the guy who, who had kind of the rough end in there gets back up, makes a big knock for us, and that's what we talk about. You just got to grind it out no matter what happens, no matter how long it takes. Uh, at the end of the day, just to do what it takes to get that W. After one game, the Lions were 1-0. and Let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the rest of the series against Louisiana Tech right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and Champagne Beverages. We're coming to you right here from Buddy's Bar and Grill. Stay with us.